is now in the fallout from the Gordman's bankruptcy and sale. Hundreds of Omahans will lose their jobs. We're learning more about which stores will close with at least one Metro Gordman's, which will survive the cut. 3 News Now reporter Megan Stewart is live with the latest. Megan. Hey, Jen and Megan, there are four Gordman stores across the Omaha metro area set to close. One of those is right behind me here near 150th and Maple, and this Gordman's location has only been open for a year. Now, this news is affecting local businesses and loyal customers. I have a hard time finding things that I like. I just got my purse today. Jen and Tina Sempek Stifle love to shop at this Gordman store at the Shadow Lake Center in Papillion. But today, the pair found out their favorite store is set to close. I wish it wasn't. I love shopping here, and they have really good discounts, and I wish they were staying open. Yeah, same with you. Or? It's my favorite place to shop, and I'm really sad to see them go. Shadow Lake isn't the only store to shut its doors. After news of the department store filing for bankruptcy last month, today we're learning a total of four stores across the Omaha metro will shut down, according to new court documents including this location at 150th and Maple, just built last year. We were pretty surprised. Husker Hounds is right next door to Gordman's. The store says the closure will be a blow to the area, and they hope a new store will move in soon. And another clothing store would probably be great, you know. Mm -hmm. Something, of course, that doesn't carry Husker year. Some Gordman stores in Nebraska and across the river in Iowa will remain open after a Houston based retail corporation bought the rights to operate them. It's a small comfort for loyal customers. The one in Council Bluffs, that is not closing. Will you guys go to that location? More than likely, yes, just because I really, really like the deals. For a list of stores that are closing and those that are staying open locally, head to our website at 3newsnow.com. Reporting live in Omaha, Megan Stewart, 3 News Now.